that, Judy? How did Silver Dollar City get its name? Well, Annie, honey, back when them shopkeepers, they would give people change in silver dollars, like that and there. All folks would get home and they'd pull change out of their pockets and they'd, somebody would holler, Woo! Where'd you get them silver dollars? And they'd say, Silver Dollar City. Well, the word got all over this country, all the way out from to California. <laughs> The buzzards in the sky get so drunk they can fly from smelling that can on Mountain Dew. If you like country music and the American lifestyle of your great grandparents, Silver Dollar City in Branson, Missouri is your kind of park. A visit to Silver Dollar City is a step back into a kinder, gentler period of American history. Obviously, uh, machine-made glass has totally replaced handmade glass in most people's homes. But as far as the process of the glass warming up a blowpipe, reaching into a furnace of hot glass, and manipulating that material, it's practically unchanged. A Roman glass blower could walk in my shop today and feel very much at home. Basket weaving started way back in creation, and probably caveman was the first one that done it. I love working with the children, and I think we should pass on when we can what we've learned. And uh, the Appalachian people out of the hills of Tennessee, North Carolina, and Kentucky was the ones that taught us this craft many years ago. After all, they passed it on to us, and now we're trying to pass it on to anybody to listen to us. Although Silver Dollar City has the look and feel of the 1890s, they also have the latest in roller coaster technology. It's what the industry calls thrill convergence. Buzzsaw Falls is an example. It's part boat, part coaster. This is the type of ride, the way it's designed is it's multiple elements. We use that concept of thrill convergence, we call it, where you're taking multiple ride elements. You've got a free-floating rapids ride experience, you've got a coaster experience, you've got a stunning lift, a very steep one that gives you a view that you can see for miles and miles. You can look out at the Branson Bell, and then you've got that exciting, thrilling, steep drop down into the water, six and a half stories. So multiple elements, so everyone's going to find something that they're going to really enjoy on this ride. The Buzzsaw Falls ride starts as a water flume and eventually climbs out of the water and becomes a roller coaster with a top speed of 50 miles per hour. Not only is Buzzsaw Falls a one-of-a-kind prototype, it's also a themed ride. It climbs through a turn-of-the-century type sawmill before taking a spin through the woods. Buzzsaw Falls takes the heritage of the lumbering around the turn of the century throughout these hills and incorporates that throughout the storyline of the ride. Although the theming is quaint, Behind the scenes, Buzzsaw Falls is supported by state-of-the-art technology. Actually, it's controlled by two separate computers, and they cross-talk, and they check everything that each other's doing. So both of them agree before anything takes place. We got more horsepower on this than the shuttle has by a long shot. The ride climax is with a chain lift climb that treats guests to a beautiful view of the Ozark Mountains, and then a six-and-a-half story plunge back into the water. Buzzsaw Falls could be a window into future coaster technology. Thrill convergence. 